Okay, here's a tutorial on how to do the circular pattern uh, programming where you're doing letters. This is what the final product would look like. I did NSB. I'm going to go through and show you the steps to do at least the N and the S, leave the B. Up. But you're going to do your own two letters. First, what you have to do is on the paper that has, this is the workspace for the robo cell. Basically, the robot can reach anywhere within that span, anywhere from here around to here, all of the space here. So your letters have to fit in here. This is what I did. So you pre-plan your letters. So you draw them here, you draw your letters here, 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 and you can then put all of the points. You'll see this is zero, okay? And this is 400 in the X. So the X moves this way, kind of the opposite of what we normally do, and the Y moves this way. This is the negative Y, this is the positive Y. So I've got NSB. Actually, I have more numbers than that. I didn't have them on here when I took this picture. So this is what you have to do first on that paper. Once you have your letters, and you can just do two letters, one here, maybe another one here, or however you want to do it, but at least two letters. Okay? Once you've done that, let me start a new project. And then what I have to do is import my 3D model. And this one here is, I've already got it set up for this because it has no blocks. So window, simulation and teach, no blocks because I'm just gonna use the hand here. All right, so first we have to expand. I'm in pro and if I have my paper here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach this first position just where it is right now as 99. Always a good idea teach that that way you can always go back to where you came from now so next I want to teach position one position one was the start of my N and so um, I that would be I'm going to put in here that is 200 whoops 200 and minus 300 I've got my Z 20 millimeter above the table. So it's just, you know, a little bit above the table. And this is important, pitch negative 90. That keeps the hand here in a vertical position so that it will go there. My roll, I can just leave that at zero. All right, so I teach that position. And you can see, and uh, so let's go on and do, I'll do the end and then we'll run it to see what it looks like. So then position two is going to be 75 and a negative 300 the other everything else stays the same and teach and then position 3 is 200 and negative 200 teach and position 4 is 75 and negative 200. So if I did those right, then you, I want to, um, I can use this one going through joint. I want to go to position one and I can go there fast. Then I'm going to, I want to draw a straight line. So I'm going to use this one. This will draw a straight line. If I use this one, it will not be a straight line end. This means I want you to move in a straight line. So I want to go in a straight line. So I'm going to go to position two, linear, fast. Then I'm going to go straight line, fast, two, three. And then I'm going to go straight line, fast, two, four. Okay? And just so that you can see, now if I click this button here, it will show me the path. I can go here and I can run through and you can see that I go to position one and it's kind of a curvy thing. Straight line, two, three, and four, okay? So now I'm gonna do the S to show you this is what we're really supposed to be doing. And one of your letters has to have curves in it. You have to have at least, I would like to see at least two curves because a circular is what we're looking for. So, I come back here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to position 5 is my next position. 
and that is at 250 and 50 that is the start of my s and i will teach that this one not this one this teaches where the arm is this teaches the coordinates you put in and now i'm going to go to the other side of the s using the circular i'll show you what i mean first i'm going to do i'm going to do six which is going to be 200 and zero and then seven which is 250 and negative 50 teach now let me just show you how this works so first I can go in a curve line I guess to make it easy on the robot to position five fast okay but now I'm going to go circular I'm going to go to position seven via position six so I'm going to go over to seven through six and I'll she'll see what that what that looks like here and we'll go fast and say okay all right so now I was here so if I continue now I'm going over to five now watch what happens I'm going to seven through six this is point seven this is point six so I'm going from five to seven but instead of going straight over I'm going this this is used if you're programming over and you've got a pole in the way I want to go to the other side but I want to go around something I can do that all right let me finish my s all right so next I am going to go to position eight and I did I figured out I could do this going a straight line so I'm going to go to 350 and 50 position 8 teach and now I've got another circular one so I'm going to go through position 9 which is 400 and 0 in order to get to position 10 which is 350 and a negative 50 teach now let me put one more in just to get it out of the way I'm going to go over to um, I'm going to put in position 11 because then I'm going to stop after that um, 11 is uh, shoot what is that that is where am I at here okay um, let's go over to here so this would be 125 and 150 I think 125 and 150 teach okay so now I'm here I'm going to go in a straight line because I want a straight line to position 8 fast and now I'm going to do I want to go to position 10 in a circular through position 9 fast and then I can go in a curvy route just to get me out of there to position 11 fast okay and so I was right there and okay I must have was I here unless I type something in wrong oh that looked good okay so that actually wouldn't be quite like that let me reset and I'll run it one more time and talk you through it okay because this is as far as I'm gonna go so I start up here I've got this so I can see my path so now I'm going in a curve line down here to position one straight lines to give me nice straight lines there for my n I'm coming through the curve so that I can I don't worry about I can fit it in my path there's the top part of the S that's a circular straight line circular going to position 10 through position 9 and then 
I'm coming up here to the top, and then I would finish my B. What I did was I went down, and then I came over a little, a circular, circular line, and then came back up. So that's how I got to where I was before. And you can look at the, what the picture looked like at the beginning. So that is the circular. Again, you need to start with your drawing and then program this there. You need to make sure you have some curves in there. Okay. And thank you.